Anthony Clyde and Daryl Neal have been involved in designing and building electric bikes for nearly 10 years. When they joined forces to work on their dream projects, they produced a prototype of an electric bike designed for on-farm use. That bike won them two design awards at National Field Days and an introduction to Locus Research. Daryl and I have both been in the electric bicycle industry for a decade. I'd always been very interested in twin hub cargo electric bicycle. Daryl had his range of concept like a dock bike, a forest park electric bicycle. So we combined those together and then pretty early on we decided we've really got to drop the bicycle nature out of it to um, free up that space for a huge battery. So that was the birth of the, the utility twin hub electric bike. Right from the beginning, utility was the key. Simplicity, ease of use. I suppose it's starting at the deep end, making a utility bike that can handle the New Zealand dairy farm situation. But I think electric drive has a huge future in the farming industry because it's low RPM, high torque. With this awards it gave us some funding um, and Locus Research was um, supported one of the awards so that helped us with our initial branding. Um, it's a really step back, take an objective look, be clear we knew what we had. It's a bit different than in your shed but we both realise the only way this will succeed is with a fair bit of momentum and additional skills. Locus Research is a product development consultancy so what that means is that we help people who have an idea or a good concept and we help them take it from a concept through to something that's real, commercially viable. We've got quite a strong tradition of being at the field days. A lot of the work we do is in that agri-tech sector. Uh, and we came across um, Ant and Daryl there with their prototype bike and we were just immediately impressed by it. A lot of the work that we do at a product design level is in that 3D modelling to make sure that everything is just right. And then our team here are just brilliant at getting that work done. They're very experienced with working with manufacturers, so not only just getting the design looking right and working right, but getting it made right as well. It operates slightly differently and it lets you work in a slightly different way. So the early customers that we've had have been great because we've learned from them how they've been using the bike differently and we're now teaching people how to operate the bike and, and change the way that they operate on farm uh, so that they can get the most out of it. We're finding that it takes about a week for guys to really wrap their head around how they can operate best with the bike and then once they've taken that time they uh, start to see a whole bunch of good benefit out of it. The key point is it's a twin hub driven electric bike, so the drive systems are in both hubs. So instead of motor in the centre of the bike, we've distributed into the hubs, which freed up a lot of space for the battery, for the energy. That keeps all your centre of mass low, um, which makes it very, very easy to ride, which is exactly what you want for a utility bike. No chain, no drive train. The drive units are in the centre here, a brushless high torque motor. So there's no issues with chain wear. The energy is distributed on both hubs, which actually gives you an interesting functionality. It makes it very manoeuvrable because you can pull the front around as well. And it just freed up the space, A, to have a large battery, B, semi step through, which again seems pretty important for a utility bike. There's a lot of load options here. Also the frame is a mounting base, so you've got all your accessory points all over the bike. The weight is around 58 kilos, battery is 17 kilos, so the battery is removable, which then makes the whole bike pretty easy to hop up onto the back of a ute. We've even had them off the back of a car on a bike rack. We've designed it to do a full day's work in a, in a variety of um, uses, so up to 100 k's on easy terrain, um, maybe around 50 to 60 of hard terrain, but the feedback we've got from farmers, that's a fair bit of, fair bit of travel. Most farmers, it seems in the New Zealand context, it's around 20 to 30 kilometres. You just wheel your bike back to your shed, you've got your charging port here, plug it in, it's an intelligent charger, it's around 50 cents of power to give you a 100 kilometres of range versus about 14 litres of fuel for a quad. So 
You can also charge the battery off bike, so you can slip the battery out, take it back to the house if you don't have power and it's ready to go the next day. We realise it's also an energy hub, so we've got 12 volt DC, we've got USB, so you can charge power tools out the back of the farm. Again, as a utility bike, we want low maintenance, um, so the, the motors are a sealed unit and the battery's a sealed unit. It's, it's very modular, so the only things that require maintenance really tyres, brakes. It has self-diagnostics, so if, if something does have an issue or something's damaged, it has error codes to tell you maybe your throttle's been damaged or the, the motor cable's been damaged. The top speed of the bike is 45 kilometres an hour. Um, we felt for this type of bike that's about right. The feedback we're getting from the farmers is, is that's plenty enough for this type of bike. It's a trade-off between top speed and low-end torque, so we feel we've got the best balance. A lot of people have commented that the ease of use, nothing gets hot, you can't flood it, you can lay it down in the grass. We've had people who have never ridden a bike, let alone a farm bike, in their life have hopped on and taken it up some reasonable terrain. So it's very unique relative to other farm vehicles. Very, very easy to use and very safe. We're still learning what this bike is for, but our feeling is it's, it's a utility bike for a medium farm, um, like dairy farms. Uh, not so much a big backcountry bike, um, but the vineyards, um, huge interest already. Um, Department of Conservation, um, tourism, ecotourism, we've had a lot of interest, people wanting to put bunches of people on these and take them around you know, their beautiful farms. This bike categorises as a 50cc scooter, so you only need a driver's licence. Um, yet it has a low down torque of about a 150cc farm bike. So we hope within six to nine months to be um, ready to release a road legal version. Of course, well it's short for utility bike company and really it reflects the mindset behind the whole bike. It's there to do a job. When we looked at the name, and it was just a contraction of that simple description, it just resonated. It, it really encapsulated what it's there to do, which is just to redefine how people are working outdoors and do that simple job simply and effectively. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.